Now, most Bobcat drivers turn off the machines at 5.30 and call it a day, but not Rob and his mates. They've gathered here at one of Adelaide's leading convention centres to rehearse as the Bobcat Ballet Boys. Years ago, we uh, started at the Adelaide Red Square, the Fringe Festival. Uh, someone's seen us doing a wheel stand out on the road and thought, well, we could incorporate that to music. So we ended up getting into uh, the Red Square that night. We'd done a few tricks and everything, and we had standing ovations, 7,500 people there. It's the day you blokes take up ballet. And then we did the milk commercial and um, they put actors in place of us and then they got the actors in there for a couple of minutes, took a few photographs of them and then they got them out and we ended up doing all the stunts for them and the actors did nothing, just stood there and watched. Doesn't sound right it's, to me. It's not, eh? we were piddled off with it too, but you know, what could you do about it, eh? There are four members of the Bobcat Ballet Boys, Agro Glenn Cooper, Mallow Martin Trelaw and a fourth member, Grandpa Rodney Carr who has controversially stormed off before the rehearsal and can't be found. I'm not quite sure if he can't drive the machine properly or he's just having a little spit. These are all brand new machines and uh, they were a bit iffy on them because they're all hand controls and we've got foot pedals in ours. Another worried face is Andrew Freeby, the ballet boys manager and promoter. He's arranged an audience of 300 people tonight and is in charge of keeping the boys in sync. Keep it on the front wheels if you help. Oh my God, <laughs> this is the rehearsal, <laughs> not the performance. Good, huh? I'm the director and producer of this uh, shindig out here, this Bobcat Ballet. And what we've done over a few months is actually got a choreographer in who actually normally choreographs normal ballet. And uh, we've got them to learn certain moves. So when I say 45 degree bucket salutes, they know that signifies a certain action. So there's the two wheel stand, there's bucking broncos, which is them doing very fast circles, bouncing up and down, using the weight of the machine to, to get up a rhythm. And uh, there's uh, bucket salutes, there's roof spins, there's a whole lot of stuff. And as long as they don't end up upside down, I'm happy. With performance time approaching, the team gathers backstage for a final briefing. And then out of nowhere, the prodigal skid steer operator. All right, boys, so we've got a performance in a couple of minutes. I understand the ground out there's a bit, bit soggy. Is that the story? Terrible. Right. Sand. Sandy. So we've got brand new machines that you're not used to operating, and we've got very, very soft, sandy soil. All I can say is good luck. Here's, here it is. Go, 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 go. Well, the gala performance is about to begin, and these new Nureyevs and Baryshnikovs of the diesel world are mounting their vehicles. Curtain time. Rob doesn't march out with the others. In fact, Rob doesn't march out at all. Ballet dancers wear tutus, so someone has to wear it. I seem to be nominated and I'm the only one that's silly enough to do it, so I'm right impressed. Finally, with a 45 degree bucket salute, the show gets underway.